Hey, what's going on, sports fans? It is yours truly, TJ Jones, the host of the State of the Game podcast. And for a few minutes, I just want to talk a little bit about Super Bowl 54. Now, I must say that Super Bowl 54 was much better than that Super Bowl we got last year, okay? That was just absolutely hot garbage, all right? So let's just go ahead and clear that up right now. Super Bowl 54 was a really good Super Bowl. The Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers, they did not disappoint. And they proved that they were the two best teams in the NFL, man. You had the Kansas City Chiefs led by Patrick Mahomes. Uh, you know, they have a really good offense. And then you have the San Francisco 49ers winning elite defense. This game right here was the tale of two halves. You seen in the first half, you seen the San Francisco 49ers running the football imposing their will. It seemed like the Kansas City Chiefs just could not stop the run. And then you look at the second half, you see the Kansas City Chiefs start to warm up, especially in the fourth quarter. The fact of the matter is this. The reason why the San Francisco 49ers lost this game is because they got away from something that got them to the show, and that is running the football. I mean, I don't understand why Kyle Shanahan wanted to get so cute. I don't know why he was trying to make Jimmy Garoppolo win this game for him when Jimmy Garoppolo wasn't the reason why they were in the Super Bowl. It was because of guys like Raheem Mostert and Tevin Coleman, guys like that running the football, Debo Samuels on the jet sweep, a guy who really had a really good Super Bowl. They just got away from it, man. I don't know why he was trying to use Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo turned the ball over twice in crucial situations, man. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, I seen a, a, a little bit out of him to show that he, he has a future in the National Football League, man. I'm not buying what the national media is selling. They're just trying to sell their agenda. I mean, if you want to talk about Jimmy Garoppolo, you got to talk about Patrick Mahomes, too, because he didn't play really well either. But, of course, everybody loves Patrick Mahomes. He's supposed to be the next golden boy. So, of course, you're not going to talk about his his imperfections in this game. I mean, this was some very mediocre quarterback play out of both parties, okay? So, if you're going to talk about Jimmy, you got to talk about Patrick Mahomes, too. I mean, turning the ball over late in the game. And to be quite honest with you, I honestly thought the game was over when Patrick Mahomes threw that second interception. That pass that he threw to Tyreek Hill um, for like 45 or 46 yards, I feel like that was a little bit of desperation. Um, I feel like that was just a prayer that got answered, but it, it ended up being the momentum shift that they needed in order for them to get the victory. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo, a lot of people are talking about that pass that he uh, missed um, a wide open Emmanuel Sanders and people are saying that, you know, he needs to make that that throw. Absolutely. But I'm not going to knock Jimmy Garoppolo uh, too badly because the Kansas City Chiefs defense got a little bit better as the game progressed. It seems like the San Francisco 49ers were imposing their will. You seen Tyron Matthew on the sidelines hooping and hollering, telling the team that they're much better than what they're showing out there. They didn't come this far for them to go out there and, and lay down like a bunch of suckers. So they went back out there, and it seems like the Kansas City Chiefs uh, just continue to fight. And, I mean, honestly, they've been doing this all postseason long. When they're down, they're never out. And they prove once again that no matter what the lead is by the other team, they have the horses in the barn to make up for that lead and get the victory. But the Kansas City Chiefs are the world champions. They win the Super Bowl by a score of 31 to 20. Andy Reid, uh, game number 222. Uh, he wins his very first Super Bowl title as a head coach. Congratulations to him. I know a lot of people were rooting for Andy Reid. Rather you had an emotional investment with the Kansas City Chiefs or not, you had to be happy for Andy Reid, a guy that has been plugging away uh, and, you know, and just constantly working, trying to get to the big game. He got there one time with the Eagles. They didn't win. They lost to the New England Patriots. And finally, he can hoist that Lombardi trophy, and they can now put him in the upper echelon of coaches. That was the only thing that was stopping him from being in the conversation. Now, there is nothing that needs to be said about Andy Reid. He will be a surefire Hall of Famer once he hangs it up. And you have to be happy for Andy, man, because it couldn't have happened to a better guy. I mean, this guy is one of those uh, coaches that players don't have anything negative to say about him. We've seen Andy Reid give uh, players second chances, give the guys that a lot of teams uh, kind of wrote off, and he gave them opportunities to succeed, and they have. Um, for example, 
Michael Vick, when the whole dog uh, fighting charges came, he when he went to uh, jail for those a uh, couple years, he came out and Andy Reid gave him an opportunity. You have to be happy for Andy Reid. You got to be happy for the Kansas City Chiefs. The first time they won the Super Bowl in 50 years. This was a breath of fresh air. I know a lot of people were having New England Patriot fatigue. So it was good to see two new faces. When I mean faces, I mean teams in the Super Bowl. And they did not disappoint. But I would love to hear from you. What do you think about Super Bowl 54? What do you think the turning point in the game was? Uh, what do you think was the reason why the 49ers did not win? And what, why do you think the Kansas City Chiefs got the victory? Comment down below. Like and share this video. This has been a State of the Game podcast. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com, search The State of the Game podcast. And also on Facebook, you can search State of the Game podcast. Till next time, once again, my name is TJ Jones. And all I got to say is, game on.